In this video, we're going to learn how to find missing sides and missing areas when you're given two similar figures. The rule is, in similar polygons, if corresponding side lengths are equal to the ratio A over B, so two numbers, then the ratios of their area are A squared over B squared. Essentially, you take your ratio side length and you square it and you get the ratio of the areas. Now what you're going to do is, in each example, determine what you are given, what you are asked to find, and essentially you can make a pathway to, um, you know, throughout the problem. So for example, if I ask you for a area, you know you need an area ratio. So if you're not currently given an area ratio, you have to create one. And that's where the squaring and square rooting inversely come in. So in example two, it says triangle ABC is similar to triangle HGF. The area of triangle ABC is 108 square feet. Find the area of triangle HGF. So they give you the area of the larger triangle ABC, and they don't know the area of this one, you have to find it. So if you're finding the area of a triangle, remember that your units will be squared. So feet squared, meter squared, whatever. In this case, it is feet squared, so units will be squared or feet squared. So if I need to find an area, I need an area ratio. I currently don't have any ratio of areas, but I do have what's called a side length ratio. And you can pick any two, or any two numbers for a pair that you want. Uh, for example, if you want to use 48, BC, second two letters, BC, second two letters, GF. GF is 8. So 48 over 8 is your side length ratio, or if you simplify that, it's going to be 6 over 1. Divide both of them by 8. This is your side length ratio. You can't use this one to find areas because it's not an area ratio. But you can take this and change it into an area ratio by using the rule I stated in the beginning of the video. To go from a side length ratio to an area ratio, you're going to square it. So you're going to square 6, and you're going to square 1, and you get 36 over 1. That is your area ratio. And now that you have this, you can find that missing area. So take your area ratio, 36 over 1, set it equal to another ratio. You have area that's given to you, 108 square feet, and you have a missing area, which we'll call x. Let's go to the diagram real quick. ABC is the larger triangle. So that means the area should go with the larger number here. In this case, it's 36. So the area of the larger triangle, 108, goes with the larger number, 106, on top. The smaller triangle, the area is unknown. So HGF, we don't know what that is. That is the smaller triangle. That goes with the number 1, the smaller number, X. Cross, multiply, and solve as you would any other problem. So 36X equals 108. 36 times x, 108 times 1. Last step, divide both sides by 36. And 3672, 7, or 108, that's going to be 3 square feet. So the area of the smaller triangle is 3 square feet. And it helps to identify what units to use if you just look at the beginning. In the very beginning, determine whether or not your units are going to be squared or uh, one-dimensional. Now you might ask yourself, what if I'm giving the exact reverse of this example here? So like example on the back side of the sheet, they give you area ratios and ask you to find the side length. So example two here, they say two triangles are similar, ONM and QRP, and they give you the area ratio of each, so 9 over 49. Not necessarily the areas, but that's the area ratio. So take this area ratio. And since you're asked to find ON, the side length, you need to create a side length ratio from this area ratio. So this is an area ratio. You want to go to a side length ratio. And in order to do that, you need to do the inverse of squaring square root. Square root this ratio to turn it into a side length ratio. So. 9 and 49 both get square rooted. 
ends up being 3 over 7. This is your side length ratio. So now we can use this in our proportion to find a side length. If you're asked to find ON, identify where that's at right here. ON is the first two letters of the statement. QR, first two letters of this statement here. So QR and ON correspond. So we'll call those X and 36. X, smaller triangle, smaller number on top. Goes on top with a smaller number. 36, bigger triangle, bigger number on the bottom. That's where it goes. On the bottom with 7. Cross multiply. 3 times 36 is going to be 108. 7 times x is 7x. Divide both sides by 7. So 108 divided by 7 will be approximately 15.43. And the units are inches, so it's going to be inches. Not inches squared, because this is a side length and not an area. So whether you start off with an area ratio or a side length ratio, you now know how to go from you know, back and forth. So if you're given area ratio, you want to find a side length ratio, you are going to square root. If you're going from a side length ratio to an area ratio, you're going to square. Uh, a couple of mistakes that you don't want to make, you don't want to set up an area ratio equal to a side length ratio. Those don't match up. They're not equal. Also, keep big over small, big over small, or small over big, small over big, but do not mix them up. It is your choice to begin, but once you have made that choice, make it the same throughout the problem. So in this case, I was given small over big. I kept all my fractions small over big for this example. That's it.